What feels like happened overnight was the appearance of the brand Lollipop Lullaby. I just found their boba dress and absolutely needed it. And I thought, who is this brand? Where do they come from? Why are they so nice upon just beginning? I purchased their boba bear dress because of course I did. It's perfect. It's all the things that I love. And they reached out to me and offered to send me another dress to review, which was very sweet. So thank you so much. I'm really excited to go through these. I wasn't going to include opening them, but once I opened the first package that they were in, I decided to open them on camera because this packaging is so adorable. <laughs> this, what is this? <laughs> I, I, okay, are they, what? There are these cute Easter stickers and the colors of them match my studio so perfectly. Oh my goodness, I gotta figure out where to put these. So this is the boba dress. Oh, what? Wow, there's like a patch of boba. Oh, it's a two-way clip. I did not realize this was part of it. This is so cute. <gasps> Wah! Lollipop Lullaby calls this a day gown, and I don't know if it is truly Lolita. I don't know. The silhouette of it looks very Lolita to me. I've got to test it out with a petticoat because I'm not sure if the skirt shape, how big it can go. But I think that this is a dress that you can style more just casual Q and Lolita as well. Oh my gosh, there's like a bear lying on a boba cake. This is so cute. I can't wait to wear this. What, what else is in here? Have a very sweet dream. This is so cute. I didn't realize they would be sending this too. Oh, they sent me pajamas. What the, what, what is, hello? Oh, buttons, extra buttons, okay. Oh, I love pajama sets. I am so excited. Cats in teacups and flowers all over it. Oh, I'm so excited. This looks like it's gonna be really comfy and fit me really well. Let's get into this one. Wait, what? Wait, what? I think they sent me two pairs of the same pajamas. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, Editor Lore here. I didn't end up reviewing the shirt or pajamas in this video. I only focused on the dresses. Please follow me on TikTok to catch my review of the other pieces. And that's where I'm going to have my giveaway for the second pair. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is so cute. This is so perfect for like cherry blossom season. I do not remember the name of this. JSK, it's, I remember it being complicated, so I'm gonna edit it in. There is no shirring in the day gown OP. In this JSK, there is shirring. And the straps, it looks like, are adjustable, because I was kind of scared at first. I'm like, these seem pretty long for me, but they're on the longest one right now. So I'll probably make it shorter. Oh my goodness, this material feels so nice. I <laughs> am at a loss for words because I'm just really happy and I want to try these on immediately. I'm so excited. I tried two coordinates for each of these dresses so far. I really like the idea of doing kind of cafe style coordinates with this boba dress. I have yet to wear it to an actual bubble tea place and I want to, I fully plan to. Please follow me on Instagram to see that because I definitely will, I just haven't had a chance to. There's definitely lots of warm colors to work with in this but then also some blues and purples and mint too so there's really a lot of areas where you can bring different colors into your coordinate. There's even these cute little daisies on the cups which I think would be really cool to work in with your cord like I could probably put some daisies in my beret here this print goes perfectly with baby the star shine brights kuma kumia I can't believe how cute they look together I also really liked wearing this angelic pretty maid headpiece with it I've heard this called a maid headpiece and also a cafe headpiece but this kind of style where it's a single ruffle and then a bow in the center I think it looks really cute and it's not too like over the top and blends in really nicely I've worn this dress without anything on my wrists but I've really enjoyed wearing gloves with it. It has been really quite fun. The gloves that I was wearing in this coordinate are actually from a cosplay that I'm working on. I also haven't worn this lock shop wig in a long time because with certain dresses it kind of makes my skin tone look strange but the color I think looked really nice with these warm browns and creams. I've also worn this dress with two different bear hats. I think that it would look really cute with bear ears as well. Um, just like a headband or clip-ons or even like doing your buns in a kind of bare way. I am really impressed with how cute this unzi 
light pink wig is. I got this pink wig for a cosplay, but then it's actually been quite nice for Lolita fashion. I was hesitant to wear printed tights with this because the print is so detailed and over the top, but the printed tights that I did wear were just simple bows, so they kind of tied it in. And then I liked bringing out some of the little purple details with my cotton candy feet shoes. I wanted to do a more Hime over the top styled look with this JSK. So I used Miss Danger's outer dress on top of it and then long gold opera gloves as well as a ruffly headpiece from Cream and Sugar Lolita. The other thing I noticed that at least between these two dresses is that a lot of the individual pieces that I wore for each coordinate I feel like could be interchangeable because even though the colors aren't exactly the same a lot of the accents are quite similar and I found myself thinking like hey I could also do this exact same coordinate lay layout when it comes to like blouse, socks, tights, whatever with each of these dresses. For this look, I honestly really wanted to wear a different wig, but I could not for the life of me find it. I wanted to wear a more natural auburn long wig, but instead I ended up using this very bright red <laughs> cosplay wig, which I'm honestly not too mad at. I think it's cute. It is a little bit brighter than everything else and I could have maybe tied that in by doing brighter makeup. I wore a My Violet blouse, Royal Princess Alice headpiece, and cotton candy feet with the same printed tights. I was honestly <laughs> still wearing these tights from the other look and I didn't want to change more. I'm not sure how I feel these specific tights with it because I feel like the colors and patterns don't really complement it nicely. I think this could be better with maybe an ankle sock, but for convenience, I just wore these tights. Let me know, do you think it works? I don't know. Let's talk a little bit more about Lollipop Lullaby as a brand. At the beginning of this video, I questioned whether or not they would be considered a Lolita brand, and they definitely are, and they consider themselves a Lolita brand and are making pieces for Lolitas. The reason I was confused about this was just because they weren't using the same sorts of terminology, and I think that they are trying to not only market to Lolitas, but also people who are interested in just cute fashions that they can wear more casually. Lollipop Lullaby started their brand in the pandemic and they were really motivated by making more comfortable, easy to wear pieces because everyone was at home, everyone was wearing comfy clothes and they really wanted to introduce cute Lolita styles into that type of clothing. So they make pajamas as well as cute dresses that are more comfortable. There's less stiff structure to them. There's less like layers and intricate heavy things on them. And for this reason, I think that this could be a good option for Lolitas who have sensory issues. This is something that has been recently brought to my attention and I've been trying to consider more because I'd never thought about it, but Lolita does have some physical discomfort to it. A lot of general brands do. It, it tends to be heavy, things are tighter on you. I think pieces from this brand could be a really good option for that because the two dresses that I have feel very lightweight. They don't have like built-in crinoline or anything like that. The waistlines don't feel as harshly structured. What makes them really cute and OTT is the prints themselves and then the actual physicality of the structure of the dress is way more comfy. This feels like something that I would put on after wearing Lolita, but like you could wear it all day as a Lolita. It's difficult to advise help for sensory issues with clothing without being able to like physically try it on. But if you do get one and it's something that doesn't work for you, there is definitely a need for it in the secondhand market. And I think that you will be able to sell it quickly. So it's not too much of a risk. Something I wanted to mention that I really like about this boba bear dress is that there are snap buttons in between the regular buttons around the chest and this can help keep it closed. A lot of other dresses that I have that have buttons like this, they kind of pull open because of my chest. When I was trying this dress on with different outfits, I did not adjust the bow that was right here. The pin was like on just a tiny piece of fabric. It was very loose. And so when I was styling it, the bow was like rotating, especially with my bag it was like on the side and I didn't notice it. So the quick fix to that is just to like take it off and put it back on through more fabric. But I wanted to mention that because I didn't think of it until later and now I just took it off because it was kind of annoying me but it looks cute without it and then this way you could wear like necklaces and more pieces right here. Lollipop Lullaby is run by sisters in Bali, Indonesia and 
that is where their clothing is produced by four seamstresses. And then they also have help from people in Japan and the US. It sounds to me like all of their clothing is designed and manufactured in Bali, Indonesia, and that a lot of their marketing is done through Japan. And that's why when I saw this brand, I wasn't sure what its status was because it looks so well put together. I was like, is this another huge corporate brand? I have no idea, but no, it is not. It's a small independent brand. I don't know exactly how many people work for them, but it sounds like it's in between 10 and 20 people. So it's pretty small. Uh, company. Because of this, please be considerate when it comes to stocking issues. I'm always scared when I make a video about a small independent brand and I blast it out to my 100,000 plus audience that it's they're gonna be overwhelmed. Please, please be patient with them and remember that they are still a small operation. One of Lollipop Lullaby's big objectives is to make Lolitas feel welcome and comforted in this fashion, regardless of size and gender or any discriminatory things like that. They really want it to be accessible to everyone and be a piece that beginners can throw on and feel cute and welcome just the way that they do. The sisters that run this brand are Lolitas themselves. With these designs of this dress, I feel like I can just put it on. I don't really need a lot of accessories. I just got shoes, headpiece, something on my wrists and we're good to go. I noticed that their skirts are a little bit bigger than the general like Japanese brand pieces that I have. I wore my Wonderwelt petticoat with these dresses and it still gave it a nice kind of casual look, but I feel like if I were to dress these coordinates up even more, I would probably wear a larger petticoat, probably my cream and sugar Lolita petticoat. I feel weird suggesting cream and sugar since they were just a limited time run. There's definitely larger petticoats from Me Likes Tea that would work for this. This dress is a blend polyester. I will say that it is a really good quality polyester and it feels quite durable. My one complaint with this particular dress is that I found that it sustains a lot of wrinkles. I think that these pieces would be great for traveling because you don't necessarily need to pack as much with you, but for this dress in particular, I would be prepared to iron it on like a low heat setting the night before you're going to wear it um, and just account for that. And I would iron it on not the print side, but the other side. I have been personally steaming these because I hate ironing, so I bring my steamer everywhere, but unfortunately I didn't have it with me today. So I don't know if you can see, but it is a little bit wrinkly, which is not the end of the world, but I wanted to mention it. The other dress is made of a chiffon polyester. It's really lightweight, really comfortable, and it has not been as bad for this, for keeping wrinkles. I've only steamed it once after it arrived, and then it's been good to go ever since. And I've just been rolling them to try to cut that down as much as possible. Lollipop Lullaby is also trying to make their brand as eco-friendly as possible. They're working on a eco cotton material. So if you are against wearing polyester, that will be coming soon, so please keep an eye on their social media and their brand. They also try to use the least amount of plastic possible in their production. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you are looking for when it comes to in brand reviews or in Lolita pieces that you may not have found because it can be really helpful to make it more accessible to everyone. And I might not think of those specific certain things. I also have more indie brand reviews in my shopping playlist, so please check that out if you are looking for more things to watch. And as always, stay lovely.